Hello, my name is JT Tepley. I'm with LTech, and today I'm going to be discussing the importance of reducing the number of technologies that can be read with LTech's TWN4 RFID reader to improve performance. Our TWN4 is a dual frequency all in one reader, and that it can read all technologies all the time, whereas most other readers are, are single frequency and designed to only read one or two technology types at a time. Although this is a great feature of the TWN4, we strongly recommend reducing the number of t technologies that can be read to improve performance, whether it be identification distance, increasing detection speed, and also increasing security. And that when you have multiple transponders in close proximity, that it will only pick up the desired transponder and ignore all other unwanted ones. So today I'm using an HIDI class card and I have a, st a standard TWN4 set up here and when you first get a TWN4 unless specified otherwise it's going to come in tech tracer mode and what tech tracer mode is is that when you scan a card it's first going to show you the technology type then it's going to show you the unique ID or UID bit length and then it'll show you the UID itself. So I'm going to go ahead and start scanning cards and we're first going to test the identification distance in tech tracer mode. So here we go. And you can see it's there, it says HIDI class, it has the UID bit length, and then the actual UID, and then um, spe a special case for the I class is it also has something called the physical access code, or the PAC, and it'll pick it up as well. So for a standard TWN4, the identification distance is normally within uh, 5 and 10 centimeters, and we can achieve longer distances than that, but you need to use a larger external antenna. Okay, so now that we've tested identification distance, let me change the camera and we'll take a look at detection speed in Tech Tracer mode. Okay, so now we're ready to test the detection speed of the TWN4 in Tech Tracer mode. And I'm going to scan the same iClass card, and I want you to pay attention to how fast my hand moves relative to the reader. So I have to go about this speed for the reader to scan. That time it missed the pack number because I went a little too fast. There it goes. I'm trying to keep it at the same level each time. You can see if I go too fast, it'll, it'll miss the tag. So there you get a feel for how fast my hand has to move in tech tracer mode. And then as I mentioned before, there's uh, also another issue when you're in tech tracer mode and there's multiple transponders in close proximity, there's no telling which tag it'll pick up. So I also have here a couple more transponders. This is a MasterCard, a prepaid MasterCard debit card, and it has a built-in RFID tag. It's a uh, MyFair tag. And I'm going to put it into my wallet here. And then I also, I'm going to use that same iClass card, and this could maybe be my badge for work, for example. I'll put it in the same pocket. And then I also have a low frequency tag, a Cassie Rusco key fob, and I'll also put that in my wallet. And you'll see when I scan my wallet here, and let's say I'm trying to badge it to work, so I'm just trying to badge the iClass card, there's really no telling which tag it'll pick up because it's looking for all technologies. So let's go ahead and try to scan it. That time it got the Cassie Rusco card, and the low frequency tags um, tend to read, be read better at longer distances, so that's probably why it's picking it up. Let's try it again. Still getting the Cassie Rusco card. Let's try it one more time. See that time it picked up uh, two tags, but not what we're looking for, not the HIDI class. So you can see there, there are problems when you have multiple transponders in close proximity. Okay, so to reduce the number of technologies that can be read with your TWN4, you can do it in one of two ways. One is you can send a message to our technical support team, and there'll be an email at the end of this video, and they can develop some custom firmware for you to suit your needs, or you can do it yourself with the App Blaster, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So the App Blaster is located within the development pack for TWN4, and it's right here, so I'm going to go ahead and open that up. So on the main page here, you can use the, the App Blaster to pick and choose which technology types you would like the TWN4 to read. So right here under Project Template, I'm going to select Keyboard Standard Mode because I am outputting the, the, the data from the reader to Notepad. And then I'm going to just leave this check, Start a Project, which can be configured with App Blaster. And I'm going to click Start New Project. So here are the low frequency tags and here are the high frequency tags. And you can still check multiple tags, whether it be 5 or 7 or 10 or whatever, but, and the performance still won't be affected. It's just when the reader has to process over 50 tags, that's when there's a lot for the reader to handle and the performance can be slightly affected. But anyway, I'm just going to select HIDI class just to keep it simple, and I click Blast. And it takes five to second, seven seconds to program, and it'll beep when it's done. And you can always put it back into Tech Tracer mode. And to do that, you would go back to the Manage Project tab. And this time, you're going to select Create a Project based on a given source code. 
press start new project, then select source, and you have to find your development pack. And then within the development pack under the apps folder is something called tracer here. And you double click that. And then you would just click blast. But I'm going to leave mine set up to only read HIDI class. Okay, so now that I've reduced the number of technologies that can be read with my TWN4, I'm going to go ahead and scan the same iClass card and we're going to retest identification distance. And this time when I scan the card, it's, it's no longer in tech tracer mode. So the only thing that's going to show up is the UID number here because uh, after in a real application after installation, that's really the only data you're interested in. You're, you're not interested anymore in the technology type because you already know what it is or the UID bit length. So here we go. I'm going to start scanning this card again. And you'll notice now my hand can be a little bit further away than it could before in tech tracer mode. And this is just because the reader is not, now not looking for over 50 different technologies and it has a lot less to process, so the performance has improved. Okay, so now that we've retested identification distance, let's take another look at detection speed. Okay, so now we're ready to retest the detection speed of the TWN4, this time with the number of technologies reduced and it's set up to only read iClass. So I'm using the same iClass card as I used before in the last example. You can see I can move my hand a lot faster than I could before. Just do it a couple more times here. And then finally, back to the wallet example, I have the same setup I did before with the MyFair and uh, Cassie Rusco transponders. So the three transponders in the wallet are as follows, and we're looking to scan only the HIDI class card and ignore the other two. So here we go. And you can see the UID here matches that of the HIDI class card. So it's doing what we want, and it's scanning the HIDI class transponder while ignoring the MyFair debit card and the Cassie Rusco key fob. And finally, a great product by Elitech is the TWN4 Tech Tracer Kit. And it's a great tool if you're trying to test multiple different technologies and determine which transponder type is right for your application. In the kit, you're going to get the TWN4 itself. You're going to get 10 various card transponders. You're going to get two key fobs, a snap and holder, and a bracket holder, which either can be used to hold the TWN4 in place. And then you're also going to get a USB stick with various information, such as the development pack, data sheets, and also the user manual for the TWN4. So if you'd like to purchase a Tech Tracer kit or the TWN4, you'd want to send an email to our sales and customer support team. And it's the first or second email you see there, depending on where you are in the world. The third email down is our technical support team. If you have any technical issues, such as uh, getting custom firmware developed or any further questions on configuring your TWN4, that would be the email to send a message to and they'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you look below this video, you'll find the data sheet to the TWN4 in the description, as well as the user manual for the TWN4. Once again, I'm JT Tepley with LTech. Thanks for watching.